The 1964 Academy Award-winning film, All the King's Men, is centered on the rise and fall of political bigwig Willie Stark. When we first meet Willie Stark, he is portrayed as a simple hick that wants to fight back against corrupt politicians. As Stark gains popularity and power among the common people, he eventually becomes governor, but with his rise in power, Willie starts to use any means necessary to fulfill his lofty goals. He attempts to justify his corrupt behavior by saying that good only comes out of bad, or in other words, he can only do good if he abuses his power first. Because of the things Willie accomplishes, the general public is able to overlook his flaws and regards him as a hero. We have seen similar polarizing political figures throughout youth history, such as Andrew Jackson, Huey Long, and in more recent times, Donald Trump. Since entering the political scene, Trump has portrayed himself as a man of the people, and one that is going to tear down the corrupt politicians in Washington, just as Willie said he was going to soak the fat boys and spit it out thin. Trump has also made grandiose promises of building a great wall, just as Willie promised he was going to build the biggest hospital that money can buy. This brand of politics focuses very little on character and very much so on big promises and excitement and getting people riled up. The movie gives an apt description of how such politicians operate. Make them cry. Make them laugh. Make them think you're their weak, erring pal, or make them think you're God Almighty, or make them mad, even mad at you. Just stir them up, it doesn't matter how or why, and they'll love you and come back for more. Pinch them in the soft place. Give them something to stir them up and make them feel alive again, just for half an hour. That's what they come for. Tell them anything. But for goodness sake, don't try to improve their minds. This sort of politics is divisive, destructive, lacks critical thought, and unfortunately, is ubiquitous in politics today. What do you guys think we can do about this brash, anything grows mentality that's so prevalent in American politics today? Let me know in the comments below.